Hi everyone. Today I'm going to make a second batch of Algasari yogurt using a few tablespoons of my current batch as the starter. It's the first time I'm making it using my previous batch, so I'm excited to share the whole process with you. And stick around to the end because we're going to see the finished product come out of that yogurt maker right there. I'm Kimberly and this is Faith and Feathers. If you like this content, please like, subscribe, and comment. It truly does so much to help my small channel grow. So before we make yogurt, I'd like to address five common questions about making these fermented dairies at home. Number one, can I eat these yogurts if I am lactose intolerant? Most lactose intolerant people can tolerate these yogurts well because the extended fermentation time of 36 hours converts the lactose into lactic acid and there is very little lactose left. Number two, is there a non-dairy version? Yes, in his book, Super Gut, Dr. Davis has a recipe for using coconut milk instead. There are two additional steps involved with making it that way but I'm hearing very good results around the YouTubes from people that have tried it. Let me know in the comments below if you'd like me to do a video making these yogurts with coconut milk and we can try it together. Number three, what are prebiotic fibers or inulin and do I have to use it? These are food for your yogurt cultures to eat as they ferment. Using prebiotics in the recipe greatly increases your yogurt's multiplication of cultures and helps to make it thick and creamy. I have seen some people have some success though fermenting without it. Number four, how many times can I ferment a new batch using my prior batch as the starter? Indefinitely. There is no limit as long as you are getting good results. So as long as the yogurt looks good, smells good, tastes good, has a nice tart sour flavor and continues to be thick and creamy, you can just keep making new batches from a couple tablespoons of your prior batch. But if it smells off, tastes funny, or the color isn't right, it may have gotten contaminated and it's time to start over with new starter cultures. Number five, how long will it stay good in the refrigerator? About four weeks, but if you're anything like me, it's not gonna last that long. So I hope that was helpful, but if you have any other additional questions, please put them in the comments below. Now let's go make some yogurt. So we're gonna get started making our yogurt. And again, this recipe calls for two tablespoons of the prebiotic fiber. I already have this measured out here in the bowl. For this recipe, as I said, we're using two to three tablespoons of our previous made Algasari yogurt. You can see I did this yogurt with the starter cultures. It did turn out fairly watery, kind of the consistency of the homemade kefir that I make, you can pretty much drink this as opposed to eat it, but we're going to be hopeful that making our second batch with that is going to result in a much more thicker and creamier yogurt. And then we're going to mix that with our quart of half and half. Make some room for myself. And I'm using a spatula because I want to get all of it in there. And I'm going to start mixing with just a little half and half first. We want to get it good and mixed up, break down those prebiotic fibers before we add the rest. And then mix well with the rest of your half and half. Mm -hmm. 
All right, and I have the four jar Louvelle yogurt maker, so I'm just going to fill these and make them as even as possible. Now at the back of this machine, there's, there's two lines here. I don't know if you can see those very well, but I'm gonna fill water to this short line because that water level is gonna raise once we put the jars in. So about there. These little rubber lids, they fit pretty loosely and you want a loose fitting lid because as the yogurt ferments, it's going to let air escape. Okay, we're going to set temperature, bring this up to 100 degrees. And the time we need 36 hours. and confirm. All right, so that's it. We are gonna let that go for 36 hours, and then I'm gonna bring you back to see the finished product. Hopefully it's gonna be a whole lot thicker and creamier than my first batch that I made with the starter cultures. But don't go away. It's gonna be 36 hours for me, but I'm gonna finish this video with the yogurt when it's all done. So let's take a look. All right, everyone. The number one on the display is showing us that we're in the last hour of our fermenting and the display will cycle back and forth between the hour and temperature. So we are almost at 36 hours. It is 6.30 in the morning. This is gonna be done in just about a half hour and then I've gotta to get to work, but we are gonna take a look at the yogurt as soon as it's done. All right, looks like we're done guys. Let's take a look. I'm nervous. I want it to turn out so good. Oh, it looks good. I'm holding it up so you can see. Look. Very thick and creamy. There's no separation. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, it smells so good too. Let me take a look at these other ones. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. There's a little bit of condensation in there. Let me pour that water out. Look at this gorgeous, gorgeous yogurt. Oh, I'm so excited, guys. This is the first time I've made it with using um, a couple tablespoons of my previously batched yogurt. I'm looking forward to having a cup before I go to work. Well, there you go. If you have any questions or comments, please put them below. I'd love to hear from you. And if you're making this yogurt from home, let me know how it's going for you. All right, guys, that's it. Have a great day. God bless.